Welcome to this lesson. We're going to discuss longitudes and latitudes. Number 20. A plane leaves an airport P at 10 degrees south, 62 degrees east, and flies due north at 800.8 .8 kilometers per hour. Take the radius of the earth as 6,370 kilometers and pi as 22 out of 7. Part A, find its position after 8 hours, 20 minutes. 8 hours, 20 minutes. So the first thing that you're going to find here is what you call the distance. And we know that a uh, distance is usually given by speed times time. Therefore, the speed is 800 point eight kilometers per hour then multiplied by that is the speed multiplied by time so this plane is going to move for eight hours and 20 minutes so eight hours then 20 minutes can be converted to hours whereby it shall be 20 over 60 that means uh, 20 minutes is uh, a third an hour when you simplify so when you work out this using a calculator, you just multiply eight and a third times 800.8. I'm getting, let me write the figure here. This is a 6,673 and a third. kilometers so now we are having already the distance covered the other thing that we should calculate now is the position after covering this distance towards the north what position is it what position is this plane so look at this i just want to sketch uh, the position this is a equator this is prime meridian. So we are being told that it is initially at P, which is 10 degrees south, then 62 in the east. 62 in the east. So P is the point here now. That's where P is. This plane is going to move towards the north. So it shall move towards the north for a certain known distance until it covers a distance of a 63, 70, 66, 73 and a third. But now we don't know the position it will have landed. So according to this kind of movement, it's going upwards. So it will have moved through a great circle. It will have moved through a great circle making a known angle at the center but assuming that it went up to q mm -hmm, or that position can be called a not q assuming it went up to a for example then we'll say a p or p to a is along a great circle that is a circle of a longitude which is a great circle distance in kilometers along a great circle is usually given by theta over 360 2 pi r. Therefore, the distance is already known, 66, 73 and a third equals to a known angle at the center over 360 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 22 over 7, that is a data of the six to pi r 63 63 70 so now we can get the data at this point now allow me work out now using my calculator very well i should multiply 66 73 and a third by 360 then by 7 again then I divide by the numerators now, 
2 times 22 multiplied by 63, 70. So I'm getting exactly 60 degrees. So the angle difference from P to A is 60 degrees. And you know, now we need the position. We need the position of the place where it is. What is its position? What is its position? The position of this plane. It shall be when we take 60 and we subtract 10, we shall get 50. But now, because it was moving from the south, it will have arrived at the north. Therefore, the new position shall be 50 degrees in the north, comma, 62 degrees in the east. So it is still along the same, same lo longitude of 62 in the east, but the latitude will have changed. We are talking about 50 because when it shall move through 60 degrees, it means it shall cover the 10 degrees first below equator. Then it shall proceed for 50 degrees more to the north. Therefore, at the end of the day, this plane will be at 50 degrees in the north. For there to be an angle difference of 60, then it means we are at 50 degrees in the north. And I hope we are in agreement there because for you to have an angle difference of 60, it means there is the 10 that we can see on the south. Then now to total to 60, we have to add another 50, which is to the north that way. Look at part B. The plane turns and flies at the same speed due west. If it reaches Q longitude, uh, Q longitude of 13 west, it moves until 13 in the west. Find the distance it covers in nautical miles. Distance covered in nautical miles. Moving to the west means now it is tracing along a small circle, circle of a latitude. This distance will be given by 60 multiplied by the longitude difference cosine of the latitude where the two places are. Therefore, when we move along this until, until 13 in the west, then from A to Q, from A to Q, I want us to focus on that now. This is the arc from A to Q along a small circle. Remember, A was 65, uh, 62, sorry. A is 62, but now we are moving up to Q, which is 13. So that becomes 75. So the angle difference is 75 from A to Q, 75 because when the two places are on the opposite sides of the prime meridian, for us to get the angle difference, we add. So you take 62 and you add 13, you get 75. If they were on the same side of the prime meridian, we would have subtracted, like both being to the east or both being to the west. But now one is to the east, another one to the west. So we are getting 75. So I shall be using now 60 times 75 cosine of 50. The latitude here is 50. So now I will talk about 60 by 75 cosine of 50. This is giving us 2892. 2892.54. Yeah, that way. This is distance in nautical miles. Look at part two. Find the time it takes to the nearest minute. Then the examiner has given us that one nautical mile equals to 1.853 kilometers. What about the distance we have up there? 2892.54 nautical miles. This shall be equivalent to 1.853 times 2892.54. So we can make it also distance in kilometers. 
So when I carry out this multiplication, I'm getting 53, 59. 53, 59.88 kilometers. So the distance in kilometers is 5,359. Now that we are I have find the time it takes. Now that we need time, we should know that time is given by distance over speed. So the distance is 53, 59.88 out of speed, which is 800.8 kilometers per hour. And this shall be six ahead to the nearest minute. So this is six hours. Six hours. Then we can check these minutes now. 42 minutes. Six hours. 42 minutes. Uh-huh. Look at the last part here. If the local time at P was 13.00 when it left, find the local time of Q when it landed at Q. When it landed at Q. So we're supposed to ask ourselves, by the time it is leaving Q, the time was 13.00. 13 zero, 0 Then we are adding from Q to A, we are adding 8 hours 20 minutes. 8 hours 20 minutes. Then we can see again it's covering 6 hours 42 minutes. 6 hours 42 minutes this way. So I'm getting on the minute side when I add. I'm getting 62, which means 02. I carry one hour because 62 minutes means one hour, two minutes. So I carry one hour to this part. So now I shall be having, I shall be having a, look at this, 14 plus, 14 plus 8, 22, 22. When I add 22 to 6, when I add 22 to 6, I shall be having 28. Yeah, I think that addition is right. 28, meaning we can have from 28, we can talk about 24 first. So that the day ends, then we add 4 more hours. Mm-hmm hours the following day yeah so that is now the time at p when it is arriving time at p what about time at q the time at q shall be behind and how behind is time at q we ask ourselves that uh, from P to Q, the longitude difference is 75 because P and A are at 62 in the east, but Q is at 13 in the west. Therefore, uh, Q is behind in time. Therefore, the angle difference between Q and AP is 75. That is the angle difference or the longitude difference. So we talk about one longitude difference is uh, four minutes. What about the 75? Four by 75. So four times 75. This gives us 300 minutes over 60 so that you get five hours. We get five hours exactly like that. Five hours. Therefore, we are supposed to subtract five hours now again because uh, after getting the time difference, we are supposed to know after subtracting, you know, it was this way. 
subtract five hours. The same day. So this is now the time. This is the time at Q when this plane shall be landing. You can follow us for more lessons. Please uh, follow us for more lessons. Remember our August program, whereby you can reach out through our number 0704153306. You can also follow up with our airtime program here, whereby you can purchase airtime for any network, any amount, by just going to your M-Pesa, Lipa na M-Pesa, the pay bill number displayed 737356. Then the account number is the phone number that you're purchasing the airtime for. Purchase and invite a friend. Thank you.